What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Juggle Nine Seven Two back here, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. Now, what I'm going to be attempting today, right now, is the hardest ending on Chrono Trigger. Now, this ending is on all versions of Chrono Trigger: the Steam version, uh, the uh, iOS version, the handheld edition. Matter of fact, it's even on the SNES version too. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do it this way: we're going to new game plus it, and we are going to use the save files from uh, the Dream Then too. So, we're just going to keep going with Chrono. We're going to kind of just skip through this a little bit. And as you can tell, this is indeed New Game Plus, so you can see the Dimensional Vortex right there. Matter of fact, even on a New Game Plus, you can actually see that, um, what is it, the Lost Sanctum is, will also be available later on in the game as well. So I think what we're going to do, what I'm going to do right now is with this New Game Plus, is start using this save file to try to get all the endings. So, let us continue this game all over again. Chrono, 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 yep, blah, 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 blah. I know, Mom, I gotta get up for the fair and whatnot. <sighs> and there's my cat, too. Mm-hmm. Now, what I'm going to need to do is, basically, well, for one, anytime you uh, do a new game plus, so you start off with the week, with the equipment that you wish to start off, you initially start off with, so automatically equip everything that's good. So, get, uh, go from, a uh, entry level to, uh, Top shelf. Alrighty. But you know what? Let's still get our allowance, even though we're going to have a shitload of money. And say hi to the cat. And here's what we'll do. We'll use this as a save point, because we'll use this as a new game plus as well. I know, hey. You know, the worst way you can see it, though. The worst way you can see it. How does, uh, how does Captain Hind Hindsight say it? I should have known. Now I've seen it. I would have bumped into her. I'll still ask her, because I'm a gentleman. Yes, me have it back. Yeah, I'll show you around. And you know what? Your name is still Nadia. Your name is still Nadia, so... Yep. Uh-oh. Oh, hang on. That's funny. That's a little weird. Uh, excuse me. Alrighty. So now that we got our, so now we got the names introduced all over again. Let's go talk to this young lady. Lucas' advice is all set up. Come on, let's go. All right, let's go get the ending, Nadia. I don't want to. Let's go to the get the ending. No, 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 no. I don't want candy. Let's go. Okay, 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 fine. I want to go get the ending. I'm getting a little antsy. Or the ending. Okay, and like I mentioned, you need to equip everybody with their best stuff too. Prismatic helmet, zodiac cape. And you know what? I think with her. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, when you're in the uh, uh, the hunting range in the uh, six, 65 million BC, uh, if you go and uh, charm the new, you, can, you actually when you fight the new there, you can actually get it. Let's see, she'll need a power crest, so that'll definitely help out. And she's all teched up too, and I think we'll be okay. Ah, step right up with this with this time, and with the time occurred, our first ever hypodimensional transporter, the invention of the century. Sippy hop up here, <laughs> and it'll be transported here. This fantastic machine is the masterwork of my beautiful and brilliant daughter, Luca. Taking you right to the fight to Lavos. Well, in a lot of ways, though, this could be like Chrono Cross, though, you know, an alternate dimension. So, thankfully, you know, we're ready to fight. And the best part about the Dream Seeker, it's got a 90% critical hit rate. You equip that with the, uh, what is it, the Wrath Band, and you have a counter attack to go with it, too. And I think I have it equipped that way. If I'm... If I... I believe I'm correct. Yep. Yep. There we go. I sword two it is. <sighs> and this fight though is pretty much just a walk in the park though, so. You know what I never noticed too? From this side though, I never really noticed that the the sixteen uh, by nine uh, display on Lavos. 
I don't know if I ever mentioned that. Oh well. Walk in the park. Walk in the park. Tis very believable. Tis very believable. Alrighty, so it's just with Nadia and Chrono. Alrighty. Let's see. Inventory! High potion, everybody! Made either. We're at 99.6%, maybe? Or 16 or 54% with that point. So let's go right to the fight. First part of the Lavos core. No, don't mind me, I was eating potatoes. Here we go. This must be Lavos. Feels a little naked, you know. It feels just a little bit naked without the rest of the crew here, though, so. This should be interesting. Alright, so here's what we'll do we'll haste Nadia first, and then we will Luminaire. We gotta be fast, we gotta be fast, too, so. Alrighty. Now, I don't expect this whole fight to go all the way to the, uh, to the full fight, though, so there'll probably be some jump cuts in the middle of it, too, so definitely want to get some good highlights out of it. And Haste Chrono. Now, mind you, I am not at level 99. At the moment, matter of fact, I'm halfway to level 99, or just a little bit more than that. I'd say about 62% that way. So we'll just, we'll just keep Luminaring. And we'll have Nadia keep curing everybody. Matter of fact, she needs to be at a top... Uh, top shelf health. <sighs> Here we go. One arm down there. Here we go. That's the beautiful part about the uh, about the Dream Seeker. Equip that with the uh, Wrath Band with 90% critical hit rate, though you're guaranteed to do a lot of damage. Okay. Alright. That took all about like about four or five minutes, something like that. Took about like, all about four or five minutes to do that with just two which with two people. But very much you know at this point the new game plus is pretty much like a multiverse playthrough when you look at it. <sighs> it's humanoid. Could could have acquired the powers of every creature on the planet. This thing is the reason why we're here. This planet is our home. Yes, indeed it is. And we're taking it back. Here we go. Alrighty, here we go. Now the real challenge begins from this part. To get this ending. Two on three. Now, how am I going to fare on this? I've done this before. And, matter of fact, anybody you know who's accomplished this feat as well, can definitely tell you right now, this is, you know, if you're not prepared, this will be hard. However, the cool part about New Game Plus, though, if you're at level 99, this is a cinch, but I am not. I'm about two. I'm a third of the way away from that. All right, so here's what we'll do. Heavenly tears. Ugh. And there's that. And we don't have any barriers to work with too, so yeah, we're vul we're vulnerable as fuck at this point. Okay, let's see. But shield, and we'll frenzy this side. Let's see, one, two, three. About sixteen thousand, about sixteen hundred damage right there. Now we got to worry about the middle. There we go. Now we're hitting hard. Lava score lowers the defenses. All right. Ugh, that was the worst singing ever. <laughs> and you know what? Let's haste it. Because if we're gonna counter, we gotta be fast too. Luminaire it is. So we might as well hit everybody. There we go. Back to a temporal shift. Temporal shift. You know what? We'll focus all of our damage on uh, the right side. 
Alrighty. There we go. Then there's this. <laughs> Alrighty. Just half. It's just half damage. Bah! It's just half damage. <laughs> Alrighty. As soon as we take out the center, though, we should we should be okay. And damage the the core in route to it too. Grand Resurrection. Damn it. Alright. So. Let's be healthy here. Maybe elementary, but you know what? It's still a great, uh, still a great move. Dream Reaver, Ultimate Magical Attack. Come on, what do you got? What do you got? Oh, that was nothing. Middle side's done. Now, I didn't show this in the last fight, though, but... I didn't show this in the last uh, the last time I beat uh, uh, Lavos, but taking out the middle and leaving the uh, the two left pods, and the two pods inside... There we go. Defense orbit by the use of Resurrects. Alright. I sorted. It's gonna be rinse and repeat left and right, though, you know, so... As long as you're consistent and you stay healthy, you'll be okay. Yeah. Uh -uh. So this should buy you about four or five more turns right here. And that did absolutely nothing. So let's take... How about we just uh, make him lonely? How about that? We've got the opportunity to do so. And right when it does that, though, all it's going to do... Yeah. Here we go. Yes! <laughs> Thank you, Rage Band. See. Yep. Luminaire it is. Mm -hmm. Alright, back to Eyesore 2. Can't eyeball me though because it looks like your eyeballs are on the top of your head there. Brain Resurrection. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Luminaire it is. And there goes the center part again. Now, this will probably... This probably won't give us any more problems like we have had before, though, but... Thankfully, we're prepared. And, of course, you know, the left side absorbs everything that you put out to it. Just comes up and just up a bitch slaps Chrono, just boom. All three fingers, all three fingers, eh? Hey, all three fingers. That's all he needs. You know, you call yourself, you know, the uh, the evolved species, though. But I can tell you right now, you probably ain't evolved too much. Ooh, you know, like that. Ooh, what a shot! Take him out. Take out the left side real quick. There's a guarantee right there. Kill the middle side. Go away, go away. Can't take any risks at this point. Might as well start hitting all of it. Alrighty. That's worked by use of resurrect. Shutting down our defenses again, huh? There you go! There you go! Oh wait, he just restored it. Or in the defenses again. Ice 2 and Luminaire. Ah, oh, man. And I think this fight, you know, I used to think that this fight used to be a little bit shorter based on how powerful you really were, though. But in a lot of ways it can be shorter, but in some ways it can't be. It won't be. We're going to resurrect again, huh? Yeah, that's not good. Our first down, if you want to call it that. 
Yeah, because that middle section, man, ain't taking no chances. He's coming up with the full... Coming up with the full swing. Alright, now, stay healthy, stay healthy. Alrighty. Luminaire again. And booyah! There we go. There we go. Done. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. <sighs> now, watch this. I think this ending is so cool. Achieve it and unlock the dream project. I'm trying to wonder out what the hell is going on. <laughs> well, don't have anything to do here. But look at the new here. Akiyoshi Masuda. Kobo and I have been practicing our anti stress messages on each other instead of working. Shoulder massages. Shoulder. Yes. Every one of these characters that you see right here are all uh, basically members of the development team. <laughs> Let's see. Good job. You reached the hardest ending. This is the Chrono Trigger development room. Take a walk around and hear what the team has to say. Keizo Kubo, uh, Kubo. Hope you and all the staff who worked on this game looks, took something from it and will continue to grow and prosper no matter what the future holds in store. Come back and see me once again when you complete your rounds. Okay. Let's see. What does the kill wallet say? Tazo Mamo. <laughs> what are you looking at, buddy? You trying to start something? Come on, bring it on. Hiroki Shiba. <laughs> one, four, one, four. Come on. One, three, four. No, I lost it again. <laughs> what's going on here? Oh, wait, hold on. Let me, let me see what's going on here real quick. Matsu Ikaruda. What did you figure out? Did you figure out my Poison Dance attack? See you again in another game soon. Yes, the Poison Dance is actually another triple tech that you gotta learn by uh, collecting studs or rocks. Shinkiro Okinawa. I can't even remember the last time I cut my hair. Look how long it is. Better get myself to a barber. Mm, get a haircut, hippie. Hold on. Let's see. Can I reach that statue? Ooh. No storm lasts forever. Even eternity must come to an end. I think. <laughs> and the music changes. Okay, let's see what's in the other parts of the development room. Ooh, right where the bar is at. Kaname. <laughs> I'm just a map design. I'm just a map design noob. But my dad's a pro gamer. He pones noobs at the arcade. You know, I've been to Japan before too, man. And arcades are fun in Japan. Yasu yes, Yasunori Mutsuda. Well, now it's my turn to set off to a journey and see what the world holds in store. I wonder if I shall ever return. You know what? You return. You return. You did it on Chrono Cross, and you did it in many other games. That's uh, Mitsuda. Arigato gozaimasu. Kate Ito. You want a buggy map prepared? It's <laughs> costing 10, 10 million G to cover the cost. Kozuhiro Okahawa. Congratulations, did you have a good time? I did. Yusunori Ugura. I'm just happy to see you've been able to work on this game. Cool. Wait, hold on, there's a letter here. Don't look for me, Hiroko Yamamoto. Alright. I'm pretty sure I'll find you somewhere. <laughs> Shinjiro Hamasaka. I helped, I just helped the Chrono Trigger team a tiny bit. Good job, guys. Hey, thank you, too. Yashihuko Kamada. Having 32 megs means we can use a lot of graphics. Using a lot of graphics means we can create a lot of graphics. Well, it was hard work, but it was sure fun. Man, if only they knew the future. It's a little earlier here. Mami Kawaii. Oops! Did I forget to insert a few parts again? I'm so sorry, it won't happen again. Fumi Nakashima. Did you see the little character animations on the world map? Brr. There's Luca reading a book, Roto in a <laughs> all in a rush. You know what I'm talking about? Brr. Yes. I think you misspelled Chrono too, but I see what you mean. Hiroyuki Ido. <laughs> the Tyranolair? Yep. It was my bright idea to push the switch in the mouth. Sorry about that. 
<laughs> yes, Iki Hone. This was my first project. Whew. Was I ever nervous. What a relief it's over. Hey, man. We're still waiting for an actual true sequel. I mean, Chrono Cross is a sequel, though. But I would love to see an actual direct sequel from Chrono Trigger. Eiji Nakamura. Congratulations on finishing the game. Why don't you spend some time outside tomorrow? Yeah, well, I'm in the middle of a pandemic right now, so I, I probably can't. Kyoshi Yoshi. <laughs> oh, yeah, such a moving story in that 128th entry of the Chrono series. What? Oh, oh no, this must be the wrong era. <laughs> hey, out there in TV land, how are we doing today? It's me, Manabu Dashima. Let's buy all the games, okay? None of this renting and borrowing stuff. I agree. I would have loved to have been in Japan in the 90s, especially back in 1995. Akihoi Mitsui. What did you think? Hope you had a good time. See you in another game. Ah, I love a good quest. Don't you? Wait. Minoru Akao. That's his name. Sorry. It's a bad makeup day for Takashi Tokita. Hey, if it couldn't be here, it couldn't be here. Appreciate the grind y'all put y'all's... You know what? Everybody in Japan, I appreciate the grind y'all put, put y'all through. I've been to Japan before, and I can tell you, y'all work really hard. Koji Sukamoto. The jet, bike, the jet bike racer programmer's highest score was 2110. Bet you can't beat that. Maybe challenge accepted. Hirokatsu Sakai. Ever since I started growing out my hair, I've been cutting... I've been getting a lot of attention from guys. I can't believe that. <laughs> Kazumi Kobayashi. I've lost 22 pounds in the working on this game. Yukio Nakatani. Nakatani. Thanks for playing. Are you a girl? No, but I got hair like one. Hey. Shh. Sure. <laughs> Tadahiro Yusuda. Look closely and you'll appreciate the little details on the monsters. Like here. Check out the shadow of this guy's sword. Okay. Let's see. Woo! <laughs> Makoto Shimamoto. Boom! 9,909 damage. You do. Yes, at, no at level 99, uh, uh, Isla gets the Bronze Fist. And every critical hit she does uh, is 9,999 damage. Yusuke Naora. How was the art? I had a blast working on it. <sighs> Hiroshi Uchiyama. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good costume we got there, kid. Wait, it's really you, isn't it? Sorry, I thought you were just a cosplayer. Hey, that's mean. <laughs> to some <Tarada. laughs> I've got every because I've got every cold that's gone around this year. <laughs> hey, I know you're gotten strong, but don't <laughs> go picking on my monsters, okay? You hear? Okay. All right. All right. Oh, it's dark. What's going on here? Keiji Nishi. Man, that was a long haul. I got my first gray hair working on this game. Lost weight, too. Dude, I got my first gray hair at the age of 15. Went to the family. Shin Moria. I've been working 24 hours a day. Ken Narita. Love was in the air, but then the engines cut out. <sighs> Kazuo Suzuki. I'm the consummate professional. <laughs> Hiroyuki Nishida. Hey, do you think there will be a sequel? Yes. That'd be nice, huh? You know what? It is a nice sequel, too. Chrono Cross was amazing. Hold on. That'd be nice. Wait. <laughs> I think the robots are pretty excited for it. Woo! Wait. Hang on a second. Akane Haruki. Please feed me. I'm starving. Tetsuya Nomura. Three, two, one, and reset. <gasps> Just joking. <laughs> Mind you, Tetsuya Nomura uh, was also the head, uh, the head uh, uh, director for Final Fantasy VII Remake, too. Not to mention all the work he did on Final Fantasy in general. Masanori Hoshino. Hey, they promised me the, the game Hoshino Trigger. Oops. Takeuchi Otachi. Well done. 
Koji Ebe, thanks for playing Corona Trigger all the way to the end. Here, have a kiss to remember it by. <laughs> Ah, oh, I love it. Tetsuya Take Takahashi. If you thought this was stuff, you should get a load of Final Fantasy VI. Oh, Final Fantasy IV. Sorry. And I love Final Fantasy IV. I still got it on the S uh, Super Nintendo, and I got it on the Super Famicom. Hatsui. Shh. I'm in the middle of something good here. Oh, I'm so tired, but so hungry. One thing at a time. Katsushika Higuchi. <laughs> Legendary Prayer Programmer 29 that seeks special someone. Not quite hero material, but still the stuff of legend. Waiting on those cards and letters. Hey, I'll measure you good too. Hey! Okay, so you want to fight, huh? Okay. You know, I was going to take it easy on you. But, nah. I don't remember this. Wow. I do not remember this. Is there anything else I was missing here? Let's see. Did I get everything? Okay, yeah, I got everything. I've made my rounds. Okay, I've made my rounds. Kokubo and I've been practicing Randy Struz. Okay, blah blah blah. Well then, open the gates to the dream team. Yay! <laughs> Alright. First off, we got a hitter noble Sakaguchi himself, creator of Final Fantasy. Boy, it used to be that I'd get thinner after each game. Now I'm getting weight instead. Ugh, I must be getting old. <laughs> Kazuhiko Okoi. Ako Akoi. Guess what? I hit the t 100,000 100, uh, 100, yen jackpot. Yuji Hori. Wow, the years do fly by. This game was first released in 1995. Who's this? No boy, Yoimatsu. Sit. Oh, he, he, it's backwards. He says, I have, I have nothing better to do than read this. <laughs> I have nothing better to do than read this. Now run along and play, boys and girls. And of course, on the far left, my apps pretty much... Yep. Akira Toriyama. Hey, Sasuke, Kika, Paul's working on games too. Are you seeing this? Isn't this great? Congratulations on fitting the game. You are now a member of the Dream Team. And since you blew through the game so fast, we've adjusted the credits to suit your style. To suit your style. <laughs> Chrono Trigger the end. And that was the dream team ending too. Not much to it though. Maybe a little bit special. Maybe something you like. So anyway, thank y'all for joining me on this, uh, on this journey too. Much love. Peace. And I will see you on the next episode and on the next game too. Bye-bye.